Hello, an extraordinary adventure waits you today. After all, today we are going to the forest and of course, there is a reason for it. Now, looking at this forest, it seems that it is endless and even having risen to the height of a bird's eye view you still cannot see where this forest ends. And of course, before going to the forest, I found out how huge it is. The area of this forest is 30,000 hectares. Let me remind you that there are 10,000 square meters in one hectare. While walking through such a forest, we practically do not notice the whole world that is spread out under our feet. And this is a world forest in the forest, with its trees and shrubs. And this is an excellent reflection of the principle small in large. Well, today you will have a journey not just to the forest, but to the micro forest. If animals and birds live in a large forest, then who lives in a micro forest? Having entered the forest, I didn't even know where to start. It seemed to me that the forest is the most beautiful thing that nature has invented in our planet. I armed myself with such a rather big suitcase, where I have everything I need to take a sample of this micro forest. At the moment, there is an important task. You need to carefully examine what is under your feet. Well, the first thing I met was these mushrooms under the tree stump. To be honest, I don't know what these mushrooms are, so I definitely put on gloves. I also found such a mushroom which is very similar to some kind of pale toadstool. I think this will also be useful to us today. So we put this toadstool in our container. By the way, if you know what kind of mushrooms it is, be sure to write in the comments. After walking a couple more meters from this mushroom, I found moss, which we also take as a sample. By the way, it may seem to you that this moss is dry and there is absolutely no life in it, but we will check it out later. On one of the branches I found such unusual mushrooms. Next, I collected a bunch of different leaves. And since most of all it is a coniferous forest, I definitely took another branch of pine. In fact, we got a considerable collection of samples. Then I took out such a powerful microscope to examine each of these samples under high magnification. Who knows, maybe we will even meet a bear in this microforest. And you may not believe me, but in fact, real little bears live in this microforest of moss. But to see them, you need to prepare this moss and fill it with water for as much as 8 hours. For you, this time will suddenly fly by much faster. The next day I took just such a pipette, all the moss was almost soaked. Then I need to pick up the muddy water and immediately draw it into the pipette. Then we drop a few drops onto a glass side. The first thing I saw was these nematodes. And this is just the real tardigrade, which also has the name Water Bear. And if you look closely, then really this tardigrade looks very much like a bear, and it even has noticeable claws on its paws. The tardigrade is a real animal, but this animal is not at all simple. The tardigrade does not care about the heat plus 150 degrees Celsius, or vice versa, with an absolute cold of minus 273 degrees Celsius. And tardigrades can withstand a pressure of 6,000 atmospheres and radiation of 500,000 rungans. Just imagine, indeed, for a human, a lethal dose is only 500 rungans. Then I decided to show you such a small fern leaf. Well, this is what a bright red maple leaf looks like.
This is how an oak leaf looks under the smallest increase. And this is a real autumn birch leaf. Still, I had no idea that an ordinary pine needle has some notches along the entire length of the needle, and they even somewhat resemble and they even somewhat resemble some kind of micro saw. Well, this is how the cut from under the tinder fungus looks like. And this is how the vellum of the pale toadstool looks under the microscope, which is found on some mushrooms. This is a scale from under the cap of a pale toadstool. So, this is how the inner layer on the leg of the pale toadstool looks like. I really hope you find this episode interesting. After all, today you met a micro bear in the micro forest. But if this is really so, be sure to like this video, and soon we will surprise you one of the coolest Issa. And that's all for now. Bye everyone!